What is TCP? TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol. Transmission Control Protocol is one of the main protocols of the Internet Protocol or IP suite. The entire suite is commonly referred to as TCP IP or TCP over IP. Roughly 80% of internet traffic uses TCP as its main method of communication. TCP is connection-based, meaning that the sender and receiver must establish a connection before any data is transmitted. Establishing a connection is done through what is called a three-way handshake. First, the sending machine sends a sign packet. Then the receiving machine responds with a sign ACK packet. Then the sending machine responds with an ACK packet. This establishes the connection and the two machines will then communicate the desired data. TCP employs several network congestion and error avoidance measures. This includes the dropping and retransmission of any corrupted packets, and it will also adapt its transmission speed to ensure reliable data transfer. Now, what I'm going to show you is uh, the retrieval of a simple text file over the internet using a uh, tool called Wireshark for monitoring the actual network communications. So um, don't worry about understanding how the tools work. This is just to show you how things work low level. So right now I am in Microsoft Edge and what we'll be doing is we'll be getting a text file called NCSI. So what NCSI is, it's Microsoft's way of determining if your computer is connected to the internet or not. So every now and again, it tries to retrieve this file to see if it's connected to the internet. And um, this is hosted on a website called msftncsi.com and we're just retrieving this text file. So I'll retrieve this with Edge. And this is the text file. So all it does is it retrieves that text file and uh, it's got Microsoft space and CSI in it. And that tells Windows that you connected to the internet. Now, I will be showing you how this works in Wireshark. So this is Wireshark. Now, don't worry if this is a bit overwhelming. This is, is just to show you um, like how it works, how the nuts and bolts work. So ignore everything apart from this green check section. This is what we're looking at. And uh, on the le bottom left here, we have a, uh, a tabbed overview of um, each packet or segment which has been sent. And on the right, we have the raw data of the packets or segments. So each of these is a packet down here, also known as a segment. Sorry, I have to keep on uh, <laughs> reminding myself. Uh, packets, a generic term. Segment is the, the more technical term for TCP for these different um, communications. So um, to start with, let's uh, see the freeway handshake. So um, you can see here we have sign, sign ACK, and ACK. So that is the freeway handshake just there. So these three packets here, that's the three-way handshake. So um, my host machine, so you can see here, source and destination, these are the IPs. So 192.168.1.5, that's my host machine on my home network. And uh, 8.8.2.2.1.8.8.1.1, that's Microsoft's uh, web server. So um, the first packet it sends is a signed packet. So first of all, what the heck are we looking at here and here? So um, I'm just going to go to Wikipedia quickly to show you what a TCP packet looks like. So this is the template for a TCP packet. So you can see here that it has a number of these, uh, these sections or boxes, and uh, each one contains information which is vital to the transfer of data using TCP. And at the bottom, we have the actual data section. Now this section can expand or shrink depending on how much data you need to send. Um, some points of note, so uh, if we look at this box here, this is checksum, that's what's used for error checking. And uh, we've got sequence numbers and acknowledgement numbers, that's essentially for just like the administration of these different packets to make sure they're all sent in the right order and like everything's sent properly. Now, the ones that we wanna also look at are these ones here. These are also known as the flags, but you may notice a few of them may look familiar. We have sign here and we have ack here and uh, sign ack will just be both of these sent together. And we've also got the fin flag as well, which we'll see in use. So um, yeah, this is a TCP packet uh, template and uh, let's go back to Wireshark to look at the actual data. Okay, back in Wireshark. And uh, we'll start with the first um, 
step of the three-way handshake. So this is the raw data here, the raw packet. And on the left, so this just shows us what is sent on the, the, uh, on the network. So there are different levels of network communication. Like in this one, we can see Ethernet data frames and uh, we've got the internet protocol IP. So that just is the source and the destination of where the packet is going. So there's the IPs, my, my machine and the, uh, the web server. Now TCP, this is the actual TCP packet. So let's open that up. Now, the main thing we want to look for in this one, it's the first of the, the freeway handshake. So we're looking for a sign flag. So if you look here in this section here, so this is the flag section and all these zeros, like each flag is just a zero or one. That's just a, the, the nerd term for a zero or one It's called a flag. So um, you can see here we have um, the sign flag has been set. So there's the one. And this is a, a sign packet. Next, we'll go to the next um, packet, which is sent from the web server back. So you can see it's sent from 88.221.88.11. Now, if we have a look in here, this has not only the sign, but the ACK flag set as well. So we've got sign and ACK, so it's a sign ACK packet. Coming up next, we've got the third and final one of our freeway handshake. So this time we have the ACK flag or acknowledgement flag set. And uh, that is the, uh, the freeway handshake done. We can now start sending information across it. So um, what happens first is um, my uh, machine or Edge, the, the web browser, it wants to get the ncsi.txt file. So what it's doing now is it's sending information over HTTP. That's what your web browser uses to get information from websites and receive it. And uh, if I just close that little tab, you'll see an extra tab has been um, added. So this is the, the information that is uh, been added to that packet to get web information. So this is just saying, give me that text file and CSI, and uh, it's going to that web server. What we get next is a ACK packet. So we are getting this ACK flag back saying, I acknowledge the receipt of this packet. Then after that, the, um, the web server itself sends the response, the, the actual web response. So you can see we've got a HTTP packet here, if you look at this column. And what we get back is not only do we get the HTTP uh, section, but we also get the text file itself. So this bit here, the line-based text data, Microsoft NCSI, that is literally just um, this text file here. That's literally that. It's just in its raw form in the network data. So you can see it's raw part here. This is just in, uh, in hex. And then after that has been sent, the, uh, the web server sends a fin packet. So uh, going back into the, uh, the TCP tab, now we have a fin flag sent and also an ACK. So that is acknowledging that it is uh, finished sending that particular bit of information. Next, um, what happens is our host, it acknowledges that it receives that flag. So it, uh, it acknowledges the receipt of that data, and then it sends its own fin flag to say that it is finished with that request for information and is no longer gonna be sending any more information to it. And that is um, how TCP works. And once again, don't worry about understanding all this technical bit at the end. This is just a, a bit of extra uh, good stuff for you to see it actually in action. And uh, I would say that a lot of videos that don't actually show this and it can be lost in PowerPoint slides and, and, and the video as to how this stuff actually works. They'll just give you the, the raw like uh, information through a handshake, TCP, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, they won't actually show it working. So um, yeah, if you're, if you're gonna be working in IT as a professional, either cybersecurity or networking, then I think this is a must. So um, hopefully this has been a bit more informative to you than the usual sort of videos. So yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching and um, yeah, um, take care.